adding and subtracting polynomials sounds scary, but as you're going to see, a lot of this are things that you have already done. Uh, we're just learning the vocabulary behind what you've already been doing. So our target is that we will describe, identify the degree of, and simplify by adding and subtracting polynomials. So first let's talk about a monomial. It is a real number, a variable, or a product of a real number and one or more variables with a whole number exponent. It's basically a term. So here are some examples of monomials. 4 fifths x would be a monomial. The square root of 2 times xy. Negative 5x squared y to the third. 3x squared m. 17. Those are all monomials. So think of that as like a term. Let's go ahead and write that in. This is also known as a term. It's like the words that build the phrase or the sentence. Monomial with the, the prefix of mono, that's meaning one. Now polynomial, poly, that prefix means many. So it is a monomial or a sum of monomials. So here are some things that are um, a polynomial. This expression right here, 5xy squared minus 3x plus 5y to the third minus 3. That is a polynomial. You'll see each of the terms. Yes, there are exponents, but they are whole number exponents. These are examples that are not polynomials. 3xy to the negative second power is not a polynomial because it doesn't have a whole number exponent. It has a negative exponent, which is not a whole number. This here is not a polynomial because you'll see it has numbers in the denominator and based on what you learned last chapter, that would be an exponent of negative one. So that is not a polynomial. To find the degree of a monomial, think of that as the term, you add the exponents. So this diagram here is showing of the term and of the polynomial. First, let's talk about the monomial. Let's talk about the term. It is the sum of the exponents. So this monomial here, 6x to the 8th, it has a degree of 8. Whereas negative 2x to the 6, y to the 3rd, z, I add the exponents. So x to the 6, so that's where this 6 comes from, y to the 3rd, so I have a 3rd there, and then that's z to the 1st power. Even though you don't see that exponent, it's understood that that's z to the 1st power. 6 plus 3 plus 1 is 10, so it has a degree of 10. If you take the number 8, it has a degree of zero because there are no variables with it. To find the degree of a polynomial, remember that's like the phrase where you have several monomials put together, several terms put together, it is the highest degree of the monomials or the terms. So this expression right here, 2x to the fifth minus 2x to the sixth y to the third z plus x to the fifth y squared z to the fourth, you look at the degree of each word, each term, each monomial. This one has a degree of five. This right here has a degree of 10 because six plus three plus one is 10. Here I have a degree of 11 because five plus two plus four is 11. So the degree of that polynomial is 11. It's the highest degree of any of the monomials. Last bit of vocabulary for you is standard form of a polynomial. Standard form is when you take the degrees of the monomial terms and they decrease from left to right. So you take the largest degree on the left and then you work your way down. So in order to write a polynomial in standard form, first you're going to combine like terms and then second you make sure that the degrees drops from left to right. So the, the blah, 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 sorry, here are three equivalent expressions. The correct way, the standard form way to write it is, is seen here at the top. Let me get a highlighter. This one is correct. This is the standard form way of writing it. 6x to the 8th minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 8. You'll see that the degrees go from left to right and it's decreasing. So this is the 8th degree the second degree, the first degree, and a zero degree. And all of my like terms have been combined. If you were to contrast that with um, the second one, 7x squared plus 6x to the eighth minus 5x plus eight, the like terms have been combined, but my degrees are out of order and I would need to swap those. So that's why that one is a no. And this third one here, 
my degrees are, are decreasing. 6x to the 8th minus 3x squared minus 4x squared minus 5x plus 8, but I have not combined the like terms. Negative 3x squared and negative 4x squared can combine to be negative 7x squared. So that's why that one is a no. So standard form, you combine the like terms and then you make sure you, your degrees are decreasing from left to right. Polynomials are classified by its degree and by the number of terms. So here are five different polynomials. First, the number six is a zero degree. So based on this degree, it's called a constant. So zero degree is constant. It has one term, so it is a monomial. This is a constant monomial. The second one is a linear binomial. It's linear because it has the first degree. We've dealt with linear equations earlier in the year. It is a binomial because it has two terms. Think of a bicycle having two wheels. So therefore, that is a binomial because it has two terms, one, two. This third polynomial, 4x squared plus 7x plus 3, that is the type of expression that we're going to be dealing with for the next couple of chapters. It's called a quadratic. It is a quadratic because it is the second degree, 4x squared. That's the highest degree of the monomials. It is a trinomial because it has three terms. A tricycle has three wheels. Then you have what's called a cubic. It's the third degree. You'll look more into cubics in Algebra 2. It's a monomial because it has one term. And then our last one, 8x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus 3x. It is a fourth degree because of this part right here. And it so it's just called a fourth degree. There's not a special name for it. If you had the eighth degree, we call it an eighth degree trinomial or binomial. It's a trinomial because it has three terms. So we have number of terms right here. Two terms is a binomial, three terms is a trinomial. And then the names based on the degree there. So let's practice this a little bit. Let's write 2x minus 3 plus 8x squared in standard form. So let's do that first. The like terms have been combined, but I need to write it from the highest degree first. So 8x squared is the highest degree. So I've used that one. Then I'm going to put 2x in there. That's the first degree. And then what's left is negative 3. So there it is written in standard form. And so now I need to name it based on its degree and number of terms. It's to the second degree, so we call that a quadratic. So it is a quadratic. And number of terms, it has three terms, so it is a trinomial. Now let's look at adding polynomials. This is where it is familiar to you. We did this in the Explore prep. Um, and you did fairly decent on this. So to add polynomials, you simply add the like terms. Now notice the difference between these two expressions. Here I am adding polynomials. Here I am subtracting. Let's start by adding them. I'm starting with 3z to the third. I do not see any other terms with that, so I can go ahead and bring that down. 3z to the third. Now let's look for my squared terms. I have 7z squared and I have 8z squared. So I add their coefficients, positive 7 and positive 8 give me positive 15z squared. Now I'm going to look at my first degree terms. I have negative 4z and I have negative 6z, which will combine to be negative 10z. And what I have left over is negative 5, so it comes down here to the bottom. For this second one, since it's subtraction, do not forget to distribute the subtraction sign. So that's going to be taken to each term. I would suggest rewriting this expression. So I have y to the third minus 4y squared minus 2. And then I'm going to distribute that negative. So I have negative 6y cubed minus 4 plus 6y squared. That negative sign changes each term to its opposite because you're multiplying by negative one. So now let's combine like terms. My highest degree is y to the third. I have a y to the third here and I have a negative six y to the third. Combine that so you're going to have negative five y to the third. 
Let's go for our squared terms now. I have negative 4y squared and positive 6y squared, which combines to be positive 2y squared. And then finally, I have my constant terms, negative 2 and negative 4, which combine to be negative 6. So that expression simplified down will be negative 5y to the third plus 2y squared minus 6.